today we are going to design a moment frame by direct analysis method and this is the frame given to us gravity columns are pin jointed at both ends and they do not contribute to the lateral stability of the structure no delta effects are to be considered now in the figure uh, these are the these are the gravity columns pin jointed at both ends pin jointed at both ends just like this uh, yeah pin jointed at both the ends pin jointed at both ends and moving columns are the source of lateral stability of the frame so p delta fx has to be considered during the analysis in this question these are the moment columns mm, these are the moment columns as per aisc specification we must analyze this moment frame using 80 percent nominal st stiffness to account for the inelasticity so uh, for this column w12 into 65 and w18 into 40 and this one this column w12 into 65 and this must be reduced by 0 0.8 uh, first of all uh, let's define the section properties and frame sections uh, now let's import uh, the beams and columns like we got to import aisc.pro uh, open uh, and here we get the various sections and the various sections that we need are w18 by 40 for b and w12 by 65 for the columns 1840 1840 yeah this is the 1840 as i said earlier we need to reduce the stiffness of the uh, sections by 0 0.8 so we copy a uh, set modifiers and we reduce the cross section area by 0 0.8 and for moment of inertia 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 and this fs section 1 is the reduced stiffness of uh, w18 by 40 so and we import another w12 by 65 w12 by 65 yeah and the same and again uh, for w12 by 65 we copy in this section uh, copy the material and we reduce the stiffness by 0 0.8 the same for the section as well okay okay yeah now we are good to go uh, now let's define um, load patterns first of all the dead load and uh, we let the sap to calculate the self weight so we leave it as one and now we have other load as live load live live and we'll give sap to calculate the live load so we keep self weight multiplier at zero and new load pattern and now no snow load we got another load as no snow load and o t i o n l no snow and click more then you get it as a no snow load self weight multiplier at zero auto lateral load pattern it's none because uh we're gonna give the value of notional load now let's define load case uh add new load case uh we need a linear linear static linear load case yeah dead load is multiplied by 1.2 uh live load by 1.6 and notional load by one so yeah we used LRFT 1.2 into dead load plus 1.6 into live load and this is how we do it for linear case for linear we do analysis type linear and okay and now we again add new load case as non-linear non-linear this time the same procedure dead load 1.2 live load 1.6 and notional load as one add uh, in this type now load case type would be static analysis type would be non-linear and geometric non-linearity parameters would be p delta p delta plus last displacements so click ok and load combination we don't need this load combination as we have already uh, provided the uh, LRFT combination in uh, load cases so we don't need to add that here 
now we have defined section properties and load pattern load cases and load combinations and uh, now we will be drawing the beams and columns of the uh, frame so uh, click on quick draw and now we have w18 by 14 beam so we need this beam here here and here and for the reduced stiffness beam we used fs section 1 this is here and this is done in order to account for the inelasticity of the structure so again the same applies to the column w12 by 65 we apply it here here and here and again for moment frame we apply fs section 2 the reduced stiffness one yeah yep now we we'll assign the uh, join restraints as we have pin jointed right in this this column end. So apply pin joints this way okay something you need to be very careful is that uh we are working in axis plane so be sure to be in axis plane now we'll be assigning the loads uh, go to frame loads distributed loads now we got uh, dead load as uh, 0.4 kips per feet so dead load uh, gravity yep uh, global gravity load type force now this is uniform load so input 0.4 kips per feet and this applies in all these sections so yeah apply yeah we got 0.4 kips per feet as a dead load and now again we need to apply live load um load pattern live the same and this time we got to add to the existing dead load so add to the existing dead load now uniform load is 1.2 kips per feet so yeah you do, you can say apply here because we haven't selected the sections to which the load is gonna apply so we'll select this one this one this one and this one so yeah apply this this load to those and yeah you can see 1.2 1.2 1.2 this is the live load as i said earlier we have three loads dead load live load and notional load and notional load is applied to the a grid a grid a here uh in these lateral directions and it is calculated as 0 0.576 now we are going to apply the notional load at joint a it loads forces now we got to apply notional load uh in x direction yep in x direction 0 0.576 gives yeah you can replace uh, because there is nothing left there so yeah you got it here now the last step is to release the moments at this beam this and this one so assign frame release partial fixity and now we got to release moments moments in this section in this section and in this section so yeah apply it and this is it now we got to run the analysis run analysis run now yeah this is the deformation curve what should i do and we need for linear and non-linear so apply for linear and this is the deflection that we get like yeah 0 0.0184 that's in feet so that's the deflection in um, a linear and again go to non-linear apply and this is the deflection in non-linear 0 0.0304 that's in feet again so in direct analysis method you need delta 2 by delta 1 and linear you, you take it as delta 1 and for non-linear you take it as delta 2 now mm, now we'll see the bending moment diagram for linear and this is the bending moment diagram for linear and after you click lift click here 
and right click it here you get this sort of values uh, and these are the values that you that we need this 127.88 and 37.18 uh, we particularly need it of non-linear so 131.54 is the MR and 37.84 is the PR so these are the values that we need and we need to check for alpha PR by PNS uh, these are the figures that you get the values from so yeah